These are the best shotguns in Phantom Forces. Now, I do need to preface this by saying I was going to try and choose just one best shotgun. However, there are so many factors and benefits to the different types of shotguns that it would be unfair to try and pick just one. So I'm going to be dividing this into best of categories, such as pumps, autos, like semi and full auto shotguns, and others. So there will be three shotguns in this list. Now time for me to talk about the big boomsticks. Starting off with the pump actions, we have the KS-23M. This probably doesn't surprise many people as it's pretty much the go-to for turning enemies into human spaghetti, but it has that reputation for a reason. The Russians basically saw an anti-air gun and said, what if we took the barrel off that and shot innocent farmers, I mean enemy soldiers with it? With no regards to ergonomics, ease of ammo manufacturing, and a blatant disregard for the future use of your shoulder. With an impressive base damage of 37 per pellet, up to 60 studs, and a 57% damage fall off at 150 studs, this thing feels like a death ray more than a shotgun sometime. With a fairly lumbering movement speed and a low ammo capacity of 3 plus 1, it's not a weapon you want to fight a crowd with, but you don't need to when you scared them off by relocating someone's skull to the next area code. But just in case you thought it wasn't dumb enough, you can put a harpoon in this. Yep. It even works with suppressors. Holy Jesus! What is that? Don't ask why. I guess they saw the Chinese illegally wailing and said, That's so cool! I want to do that too! This little bit of garage death trap does a completely unnecessary 5,750 damage to the head at close range and 3,250 damage at 203 stud. Because apparently, sticking a pointy metal rod in the end of your gun gives you the power to punch through a tank like a Texas Instruments calculator. Wait, sorry, Javelin anti-tank missile. I get those two products mixed up sometimes. But with great power comes a glaring lack of muzzle velocity at a lethargic speed of 650 studs a second. That's almost as slow as the Boxy Buster. Yeah, it, it shoots almost as well as a nerf gun. But with the added advantage of being able to kill Thanos. Up next in the auto category, we have the Sega 12. Now before you get angry, let me explain. This is by no means better than the AA-12, SPAS-12, or USAS-12 in its default state. However, this is a competition, and because of that, I'm taking in a lot of factor. With more damage than the AA-12 and USAS-12, and 27 damage per pellet up to 45 studs, and a 52% damage fall off at 130 studs, it's a very viable weapon in its basic configuration. However, the fun begins when you dive into its ammo types. With the basics like flechettes, bird shots, slugs, and rubber pellets, this little bit of just turn the AK into a shotgun has some interesting conversions. With six different unconventional ammo types to stick in this thing, you can pretty much use this for whatever you're hunting, whether it's elephants or Peter Dinklage. Available ammo conversions include 223 Remington, 9mm, 7.62x39, 308 Winchester, 9.6x53, and 50 BMG, because chamber pressure just isn't a thing. By the way, many of those give it full auto capabilities as well even though it has a full auto mod for its basic buckshot. And yes, the 50 BMG is a one-shot wonder, but it does do 300 base torso damage and 283.65 at 180 studs. So yes, it does do big ouchies. While many of the auto shotguns are better on average, especially in closer engagement, the versatility and raw performance of the Sega 12 are unmatched. Finally, we have the others. I was going to do sport shooters like the Stevens Double Barrel and the DT-11, but I didn't want to leave the E-Gun alone and give it our participation win. So coming in as the winner of the all other shotguns category is the Stevens DB. While the DT-11 was a complete monster, upon its release, it was quickly nerfed and is now just a has-been. And with the E-Gun being good in its own right, it just doesn't have the reliability of the Stevens at most times. With a base damage of 36 per pellet up to 75 studs and a steep damage fall off of 65% at 165 studs, this shotgun is still a reliable classic. Whether it's killing demons or ruffians, this double tube boom boom will get the job done. You can also stick a muffler on it for some reason. With the added benefit of having an instant burst setting which fires both barrels instead of one, and also having the optional Doom Guy ADS style, avenging your lost bunny has never been easier. The real fun happens when you stick some slugs in this thing and it turns into a home invader's worst nightmare, featuring an impressive 123.75 torso damage up to 37.5 studs, and 51.8 damage at 165 studs. Using the instant burst setting turns this classic into a heavy hitting machine. It also does a base of 396 to the head, pretty much making ballistic helmets a funny suggestion instead of a solution. You can also run the sawdust off as your secondary so that it can be like little brothers turn on the xbox when you kill your two enemies with stevens in conclusion these are in my opinion the three best shotguns you can use i'm a bit of a sucker for the ks23 but all of these are reliable weapons pretty much all of the shotguns available are good choices so choose what you like best i'm just a guy playing a roblox game and telling you which boom booms i like let me know if you want to see more of these videos see ya